future internet, PPP, is led by industry and driven by users to address the challenges holding back internet development in Europe. FI Content, the major trailblazing project of the European Union, stands for Future Media Internet for Large-Scale Content Experimentation. It's above all the experiences and wishes of European citizens that are feeding into use case scenarios and experiments. This is preceded by empirical research. Internet users are being asked about their expectations regarding the Internet of the future. More video chat, or maybe you can have it in 3D, so you can actually like see the person in front of you. Yeah, for me it would be important to share media with other users um, uh, when there is not such a diversity of sharing options. I think the role of a like not being a consumer, being more active, becomes more and more important in the future as well in the internet. The slogan of Nelly Crows, led by the industry and driven by the users, is very relevant for the whole Future Internet project. Fraunhofer IS has an outstanding expertise in search technologies, in media indexing technologies, and our role here is really to be the interface between the users and the technology Developments. Our research methodology is user-centric design. We involve the users from the beginning of the project, what they think is missing today in the internet, and they, what would they would like in the future internet, which maybe we as research organizations or industry are not yet thinking about. The target groups of the use case scenarios and of the accompanying empirical research are European students and pupils. They surf the internet these days as a matter of course, and they come up against barriers. That an in universal language understandable by everyone. To understand what, what's going on, but not using words. So it might be uh, some symbolic language or some language of movements. I don't want my internet access restricted, but I want the people who are mining my data to be more restricted. I'd like Facebook without Facebook, meaning I'd like to stay in contact with my friends worldwide. That's very convenient. But what's already happening and worries me a lot is that my data are whizzing round the net. So providers know what products I've looked at. Facebook tells them what I'm interested in. What often gets me is when you're looking for something on the internet and you enter the search terms, you usually get a load of results in between that have nothing at all to do with the subject. And for it all to go faster, so you don't have to click on a thousand links to get where you want to be. I think that in future, things will be recorded in real time. So I would like to also to see my friends maybe play and to watch them and maybe comment on it while they're playing. In the future, I think internet will be more like a collective consciousness where you find information easily, you can share your ideas and you can build up some new things uh, with help from other people in the fastest way we can do it today and in, in a more general way. To get the internet out of the or the media out of the room or out of the surrounding of a PC and a, and a flat and to, to make it more mobile or to make uh, games more vivid. Interactive in 3D in a whole room, in a 3D room. Look. There's an alien sitting in the driver's seat, you know. Okay, where does that story take me? Users um, might go on um, inside of so-called story worlds, um, which also um, indicates that there's not just one story, but you have maybe numerous stories, which, which then all together builds one whole. Play the future before you live it. Why couldn't you in an online game um, donate a euro to a homeless person being part of that game and actually this euro goes to an organization in the, in the real life.
Evans 3D. In 3D, you could see people three-dimensionally and maybe feel them too, or even smell things. I think that voice control is certainly something that can be further developed. I've got a friend who can't move his hands anymore. It's a huge problem for him. In 50 years, I want to have a computer or an interface where I can make with my thoughts the whole moves in games or yeah, stuff like that. What annoys me is having to re-enter my data every time I log in on an internet platform. My name, address, telephone number, email address or even credit card details. I'd like to see one service in future that does it all centrally. I authenticate myself with my smartphone, say who I am, the data are submitted and I can log in directly in a few seconds and start. It would be really useful in other countries to say something in German and have it translated, so you communicate with people despite the language. Something like probably you can tell people exactly where you are, so so you can um, take a map and um, with the internet you localize where you are and then there's a mark on the map where you are where other people you know probably are on your friends list. The European Union wants the internet of the future to be substantially shaped by Europe and by its citizens as users of the global medium. Empirical research is the starting point, but use case scenarios, applications and services will also be developed with the participation of citizens and tested in phase two of the project in large-scale experiments. The focus of the research group is constantly on the future prospects for Europe. I think education is our primary resource in Europe. Grassroot Arts is a media and research company. Our role in FI content is to create the user case scenarios for entertainment and culture. The first idea is a use case scenario called active experience of cultural events. It's about the carnival of culture in Berlin. And the idea is to have a project group with students and teachers from different schools over Europe. They will all participate in phase two in these real-time experiments in Berlin. During the event, they need their mobiles to film, to communicate, to talk, to play games. The contents of the Internet of the Future will essentially derive from its users. This will also influence other media such as television. So television channels are also included in this European research project. At RBB we cover the Carnival of, Culture, the Carnival of Cultures on the radio, on TV and online. But users are also there and using their mobile phones they document the acts that they see at the various locations. This project offers us, this use case offers us the opportunity to integrate this user content into our professional content. So we can maybe do this on the fly, we can also add archive material. And this for us is the big challenge of the project FI content. And uh, so the students can uh, uh, use our technology for better search and retrieval applications uh, and we support the users really to uh, uh, try out our technology in a very experimental design. And that's the first time that users have access to an integrated version of a very complex European uh, uh, service uh, architecture and service system. And uh, uh, we are sure that uh, this experiments lead to new experience and new success in the European media world. Mm -hmm.